Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to Coral Island. Let's enjoy the title screen for a bit here. Having a good weekend. Uh, the weather is kind of alternating between sunny and sort of sprinkly, but we haven't had any kind of deluge, which is nice. And I tried making another puff pastry based appetizer today. Basically, you just cut the puff pastry in squares, put them in a muffin tin, and then you put a little bit of whole grain mustard on top with a slice of kielbasa sausage. So it tastes kind of like those croissant wrapped hot dogs you get in the store, but with mustard. So that was a not too complicated culinary adventure. Didn't have to roll up the puff pastry or anything, which is nice. So I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, did it puff okay? Well, Yes, but it was store-bought puff pastry, so I wasn't too worried about that. Really, I just had to thaw it, and because I was cutting it in squares, I didn't really even have to worry that when you- sometimes when you get puff pastry from the store, if they've folded it to fit in the package, then it might break along the seam where it was folded. But if you just use that as one of the lines that you cut it on, it doesn't really matter. So, it's pretty forgiving as puff pastry things go. This was another recipe that's meant to be pretty easy, so they're not going to ask you to make your own puff pastry. You do have to kind of watch the clock, though, because um, the recipe says, oh, you know, bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. But even at the 20 minute mark, some of the corners and edges might be getting pretty brown, so you have to pay attention. All right, uh, let's see, what day is it? I know we're still in early spring. We're not at the 15th yet because I'm not yet hunting down the fish that don't appear until the 15th. So we're a little ways in. As I recall, our various fruits and things had just sprouted. And uh, let's, let's just have an overview of everything. We've got our town rank. Town rank is just still just barely into C. Museum's still at D. That's incredible, you know, even the sheer number of stuff we've turned in, and we're still at D for the museum. Ocean's doing pretty well, because that's where a lot of our town rank came from. Um, just because cleaning up the coral sites just gives you 10 per, and so that's pretty potent. Heritage is still at D. Uh, we could make some progress on uh, goddess bundles today, depending on what we do. Uh, let's see. Jeff Smith is saying all the same stuff as last year, so we don't really need to watch him. Tomorrow's forecast is sunny and clear. Wear sunscreen. Okay. How you doing, Yormi? He looks happy today. Mostly. Oh no, I accidentally cut down a, 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 a sugar cane. Well, I'll replace it. It'll grow back.
We'll just have a gap like we do with these uh, strawberries. That was the one that the crow got earlier. All right, so we got all those. Uh, these aren't ready yet. These potatoes are ready, however, though. We've got some bananas. We've got some plums. We've got some rambutans with stars. At least some of these are things that the goddess wants. Avocados. And over here, snake fruit. I don't know what that even is. All right, so we'll replace that in a little bit. For now, yes, the goddess wants a gold star rambutan, but that's it. Interesting. All right, well, let's hang on to bananas. Three bananas, interesting. Uh, to these plums, to one of the rambutans, the lychees, the avocados, and the snake fruit. Uh, we've got more papayas than we need. got some extremely good potatoes. Let's save those. Uh, I have no room for strawberries unless I sort them a bit. We'll save another cauliflower. Uh, lettuce? Yes, I have space for that. And that's it. All right. So we'll ship everything except the rambutan. And because we have fast travel, I'm going to go ahead and give that to the goddess before anything else happens. Fruit plants. Apple, lemon, almonds. Okay. And she doesn't want all of these, she just wants three out of five, but they need to be silver or better, which is not a problem. We have improved things enough, that's not going to be an issue. Okay, let's check on the animals, and I also need to check on the greenhouse. Can't forget that. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. I don't remember which tools I need. All of them. Well, just as well. Good morning, everyone. Bear with me while I remember how the interface works. Thank you for the large wool.
I'm gonna make this duck mayonnaise, but the large golden egg I'm gonna save in the house. Because I do want to have... Oh, look at that all sparkly. You know what? I'm gonna age those. Uh, still processing. Alright, well, you can... You can go in here for now, then. In fact, let's swap out the egg for a better one. Since that's the baseline of what I'd be taking to the fair in fall. Might do some cooking this stream. We'll see. And I need some more cauliflower seeds. What have we got here? Oh, I already got cauliflower seeds. Excellent. I was thinking ahead. Okay, all those are doing fine. Okay, so first of all, let's get this cauliflower planted and can I make some fertilizer uh, I can make some but not all that I would want mostly because of the sap but I can put that on later if I want so I'm gonna just get these in the ground uh, Yormi, you've got to get out of the way. Go and circle the world somewhere else. Thank you. Uh, now here... I will put this in just so it'll look like the others. Okay, let's head to town. So I can get that seed. There's other stuff I'd like to get from the store soon-ish, but maybe not right this second. What's the errand? Paul is looking for a potato. Sure. Wow, everyone's here today. Okay. One sugar cane, please. Hey, Furple! How's it going? I reminded myself the hard way to be careful where I'm swinging my axe. And for right now... Ooh! Playing and streaming the same game at... Uh, or playing and, and watching a stream of the same game at the same time. That is a bold choice. Now, I was under the impression that I was going to have to upgrade my barn and coop again. Because that's what you have to do in Stardew Valley. But I don't think we actually have to do that. No, we only need barn level 2 for a pig and a peafowl. And we could, in fact, buy both of these right now. So... Yeah, and it's funny because the wiki uh, alludes to a, a level 3 upgrade, but I guess that's either not in the game yet, or they decided that was too unreasonable, or whatever. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, really, how, how fancy does your barn really have to be? Yeah, probably for the new things that are alluded to in the next update. But we have a couple of animals that need names. So chat, there is a uh, there is a channel point redemption if you would like to submit a name for a peafowl and a pig.
So I will let y'all think about that. And in the meantime, I need to look back at my Pokedex. I've actually printed out the part that is relevant. One thing I would like to do is uh, try and find the Sunflower Sea Star. That is a diving critter because that's the last thing we need for one of our bundles. So I want to find that. Uh, let's see, not finding any, we're not finding anything yet that's, that doesn't show up till the 15th. Mandarins in the forest ocean. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I'm going to look for that swallowtail butterfly. All right, we have a... A, a vote for Miss Piggy for a pig. All right. I'm still standing right here, so I'll go ahead and turn that in. Okay, animal. Here's our pig. The pea fell sugar snap all over a sugar snap pea. I like it. All right, well, here you go. You can be in the barn and this will be Miss Piggy. And for our pea fowl, we've got one coop. Sugar snap. All right, well, let's go say hi to our new animals. And then we can do some critter hunting. Note to self, don't look at my pieces of paper while I'm walking somewhere. That's Ginger, that's our chicken. Maybe they're hiding inside the coop still. There you are. <laughs> Sugar Snap is looking okay. Okay. Well, I hope you come outside. There you go. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you you just know the right name and sometimes you just blank. Hi, Miss Piggy. Yes, a, a noisy pea fowl. It'll be like the Oakland Zoo where they wander around. All right, bugs, what do we got? We got a moth. Oh, we got a Cecropia caterpillar. That's good because the museum still needs one. Excellent. I've found this praying mantis. All the peacocks we get are intact males. Oh, would 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 they be quieter if they'd been altered? I can't claim to actually know very much about peafowl. Let's see. Have a caterpillar. All right, we're probably one short of that prize. <laughs> Autocorrect, absolutely murdering your words. Well, in the context of livestock, at least it's a word that is at least somewhat in context. Uh, the winery near the base of the Montebello hill climb had noisy peacocks that would wander over from time to time. Wow. 
Now for diving, if I want to get this sea star, that is a depth 50 item. Oh yeah, I, I know the males are the brightly colored ones. It's just, uh... Just, um... Your, uh, your typo was, uh, was hinting that these birds had not been, uh, <laughs> cough, doctored in any way. Uh, okay, so we have actually cleared a fair amount of, uh, of space in this, in this 50 or more depth area. What is that? Is th that looks more like Sunflower Sea Star. Wow, the way it was walking looked a little more like a crab, but there we go. A carnivore that feeds on living and dead prey. Ruthless. Well, that's just versatile. And we need two of them. One for the museum and one for the goddess. The goddess definitely takes precedence because that's the last thing we need for a bundle. So let's look around a little more, just see what we can find. I'm not sure how much... Uh, help we really need at this point, but I feel like it's going to be something that we'll always be happy to have more of. Uh, certainly we have use for seaweed, can't forget that. But if I want to keep moving and find critters, I should do that. Hey, look at that. There's our second one. All right, in the interest of time efficiency, wow, no seaweed, no actual seaweed out of any of that. Thanks a lot. Fiber, eh, whatever. All right, I'm gonna go back to the anchor. It's already 5 p.m. in the world. Uh, where was I? This music has such Echo the Dolphin energy. There we go, that's where I was headed. Because everything else that I'm looking for down here, I can get to with fast travel. Let's pick some things up off the beach. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I think we have seen them clear. It's just that we've started a new play session and I think it just visually reset them. Mm, catching ocean critters. Here we go. All right. Have a sunflower sea star. Unlocked crawler trap. Oh, excellent. Thank you. We can always use another one of those. Thank you. And I'm actually going to do a few things with pencil here. 
Okay, Sunflower Sea Star. There you go. And we got a Stamina Fruit. Good for us. Interesting, that does show up in our inventory, at least briefly. Oh, we actually do have it. Eating one of these increases vigor. It's pretty bland, though. Oh, interesting. Now this is... This is uh, supposed to be a permanent upgrade, and usually we would just use it right away. That's interesting that we didn't. Having a hard time placing the horse stable? Huh. Uh, let's see. Now, where do I want to go? I am looking for a couple more critters. Um, at the 20 and 10 mark. At least one of these, I already have a trap set up. Well, it's fine if the buff is only applied once, because it's permanent. But I suppose I could... I could... eat it at a strategic time to take advantage of the 100 energy... regen. Uh, now let's see. What did I... Oop. What did I need at... 10 meter mark. I needed a Venus flower basket. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna get that in a crawler trap. Yeah, this late in the game, energy is not usually the limiting reagent. Let's put you there. Uh, let's hunt around just a little bit. See what we can find. Since we do have a little time. Star, purple urchin. Many whelks, now handle it. Uh, not seeing anything. In the immediate vicinity. I suppose cleaning things up might help a little. here. Just have a bit of a look around. Inventory full. Can't even pick up this stuff. Pom-pom crab, we've got plenty of those. I'm not seeing anything that looks especially like a Venus flower basket. So I think it's time to return to the farm.
Here's our dehydrator. Turned out to be very good that we have two of these. Cherry stone clam, there you go. Uh, okay. There you go. And I will make some fish bait out of these insects that I have. There we go, and there are a few things to be caught in the farm pond. So since we've got just a little extra time, I'd like to go for that. And this will probably be trash. Chance of trash is higher if we only do short casts, but the thing I'm specifically thinking of is a common fish, so if I want a high chance of catching it, I should actually use shallow casts. Shrimp travels in schools. There it is. Uh, the museum wants one, and we'll need one later for cooking. So I'll hang on to this one, actually. You can go in there. I do not have the fish pond yet. I will certainly build one if I have a specific need to duplicate something. My goodness. We've got loads of money from all that cauliflower. Basically, half recoup the cost of the new animals. All right, now while I'm sitting here, I'm going to go to my checklist and check some things off. Because uh, we found Sunflower Sea Star. Found that caterpillar. And I will refresh my view of it here. Check spring bugs. That's good enough. I really should just work off of the uh, the paper one that I made. All right, onward. But yeah, certainly if I catch like a legendary fish that I need two of and I can't get a second one, I'll definitely make a fish pond for that. But the shrimp are so easy to get that I may not bother with it just for the shrimp. Sunny tomorrow. Normie looks happy. Hey, Vanya, did I leave my pen at your farm? I'm pretty sure I had it with me when I was there for your health record. Look around for me, will you? Thanks, Yuri. Yuri, you were here a long time ago. Did you only just now notice that your pen was gone? Hello, Reliable Battles. How's it going? Yeah, I know. They're they're just kind of free money at some point, but I am I am uh I had just had not taken the time to set them up yet. I'm a little more concerned with making good use of springtime while it's spring to find the things that absolutely must be found during spring. Uh, okay, let's 
go say hi to everyone here. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Peacock is showing off. How are things on Coral Island? Well, we have our new pea fowl, specifically a proud peacock who's showing off his feathers. His name is Sugar Snap. And we'll go in our barn in a moment and say hello to a new friend there. Wow, we have actual peas, as well as our pea fowl who's named after a type of pea. But we also have Miss Piggy! Who's our brand new pig? <laughs> Rolling in the mud, that's great. Alright, everyone's coming outside. We've got our tools again. Probably should just deal with that stamina fruit at some point. Ooh, purple star, large wool cloth. That is a good deal. And uh, there. There's so much stuff to keep track of at this point. And here's our greenhouse. Uh, nothing going on in here at the moment. But sometimes we get an incredibly lucrative crop of pumpkins out of it, which is the best thing ever. And, okay, yes, the, the goddess asks for a dried thing, but we've already given her that. Can't believe I was able to fit all that in my inventory. Alright, not gonna save any more sugar cane. I'm not still carrying that cranberry from yesterday. I probably am. The goat cheese wheel, all this dried stuff, the flyer, more sugar cane, ah, the turnip. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got plenty of turnips. Uh, do I have peas? Peas might be new this year. Oh, bananas. I need to move those. All right, peas can go in there instead. This fruit is now going in here. I'll go ahead and save those alongside the other bananas. It's fine. Okay, so what to do today? Well, first of all, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Plant those. You want to buy the golden baroque lamps, but they are so expensive. That sounds expensive. I don't know that I've seen that item, but that sounds like something that would be expensive. But it's like Cogsworth says. If it's not baroque, don't fix it. 27k each. Good grief. That's more than we just spent for either of our two new animals. All right, so for that swallowtail butterfly, garden lane, the beach, the woodlands, okay. So we, I wanna make another pass for that. Uh, it is not the 15th yet, but we could do some fishing for other stuff, but I'm gonna go bug hunting first. Maybe we could do some diving later. I 
think you're a different swallowtail butterfly. Yeah, you're a pipe vine swallowtail butterfly. So are you. And you're a red admiral. So, not quite what I wanted, but we can try the beach. Oh! <laughs> Look, Dad, they're playing! Now, now, we don't want to be too noisy, or we might scare them off. And we don't want to do that. No, ma'am. We don't want to do that. <laughs> Yucca moth. This small moth spends most of its adulthood cradled inside flower petals. And a cricket. Uh, aha! Yes, the yucca moth. That's new, and we need two of them. So, that might be... Good reason to get a bug log started. There's a cricket. Uh, the woodlands would be up that way. Hi, Erica. Charles does have red hair, but he also colors it red to keep it bright. If you ask me, I'd say it's because the poor thing wants a bit of brightness in his life. Frank said I'd make a great detective. I know he was teasing me, but I don't mind. I think I would make a good detective. <laughs> Fast travel. Golden Baroque lamp. That sounds very fancy. I never get into decor type stuff until really late. That's not a butterfly, that's just a fly. I suppose I could catch it for skill ups, but meh. Ah, uh, you've reached the way too much time on your hands point. That is certainly understandable. Okay, well let's try diving again. Let's Go down to the 20 meter mark and see if we can find ourselves this, this, uh, well, we can't get a, uh, a calico lobster till nighttime. So actually, after checking the traps and picking up a few freebies, we should go to the shallow water. Come on. Yeah, automation will be fun. I am so looking forward to the full release of Satisfactory. When that gets released, we are absolutely playing that on this channel. That's the kind of game where you really just need to have powerhouse on repeat.
Got a pom-pom crab. I think this is another pom-pom crab. It's even doing a little cheerleading motion with its little claws. And I am carrying too much stuff. Well, we can address that. Stamina permanently increased. Thank you. Honestly, I do not need fiber. Honestly, a single wild seed is not all that useful at this point either. That is a sea cucumber. And a sea star. That's a cannonball jellyfish. And that's me refusing to face the correct way. Cannonball jellyfish. Someone's got a gift for me, but it, that looks like an upside down jellyfish. I uh, don't need this tulip. We lit up just for a moment. It's really discouraging how fiddly some of those are. Okay, well, we're kind of back at the fast travel point, so I'm gonna go back to the... Well, first I'm gonna drop things off at the farm, and then I'm gonna go to the 20 meter zone.
And we've got this yucca moth that I need to make sure I don't turn into fish bait by mistake. Maybe I'll sell off insects for a little while. Oh, or... This chest is not included in the global inventory. Yucca moth goes in there. Now it's safe. Now I can make fish bait. And can we perhaps find a calico lobster? Initiating friendly conversation mode. Flower hat jellyfish. We've seen that before. Got a nice little shortcut here. Anybody new to catch up here? Doesn't really look like it. One flower hat jellyfish. That's not helping. Inventory's full again. Let's let's look down south just for a moment. There's another one of those shrimp. That's not going to help us. All right. Well. That's enough looking for today, I guess. So we'll hang on to that yucca moth and we'll see if we catch a second one. Uh, let's see. Jellyfish. The whelks. 
There's pom pom crabs, those can all go. Uh, those things can all go. There's another whelk. Flowers. Uh, we can save this daffodil. Foraged items. We've probably got some canola in here. Yes, we do. There's another bit of silver star canola. Uh, morels. We can save those. Okay, and in the interest in the theme of catching another one, let's see if we find another shrimp in here. We'll give it just one chance. Tilapia. Well, that's something. Nothing we really need for anything. Welk keeps reminding you of Wark from Mist. Yeah, definitely. Those guys are pretty uh, distinctive. All right, our stamina fruit is celebrated. Oh, Erica likes us better. <laughs> Mild white fish, yeah. The world discovered tilapia and then you couldn't get away from them if you tried. All right, sunny tomorrow. Still not quite the 15th yet. Normie's happy. Got our sugar cane. We've got soybeans, we've got cucumbers. Uh, the trees are not ready yet. Anything we need to file away. We've got very good cucumbers. We've got very good soybeans. Oh, that's right. Someone. Yes, Paul still wants a potato. So we'll save one of these potatoes for him. Everything else can go away. Actually, take those. Can those go in a mason jar? Make tempe! Alright. Well, this fermented goat cheese wheel can get sold. Let's deal with all this dried stuff. we get in ridiculous quantities from all the diving we're doing. What's in the greenhouse? Suppose we go in there first. Anything? No. That is fine. everyone. 
Got loads of eggs. Good morning, everyone in the barn. <laughs> this piggy's just having loads of fun. Okay. Got our cheese started. And we should start this loom. Got a little bit more egg than we know what to do with. All right, I'm gonna check for the butterflies again and then we need to deliver this potato. That is a moth. That is a praying mantis. a bunch of people and cats we can talk to. Hi, Butter. Meow. Hi, Noah. Your farm is just over the creek, right? If you have time, try some of our food and drinks. They're the Islanders' favorites. Hi, Peanut. Pa playing with Peanut makes you want to rescue a million cats. <laughs> Millions of cats. Thousands of cats. My hair gets sticky fast lately. Kind of hate it. Is yours that way too? Eh, not really. My hair is just really fine. It's hard to do anything with. That is a beautiful butterfly, but I don't think it's quite the one we need. No, it's another pipe vine swallowtail butterfly. Another widow spider. This beach is where I found Steven. Right over there, in fact. Poor guy lost a claw, so I've given him a safe place to sprout a new one. I search the beach every so often for injured animals. Thankfully, I haven't found any besides Steven so far. Alright, Widow Spider. Fine, you can... You can join the team. We'll just make you into fish bait, you understand. Let's see, we've got loads of money again. Uh, let's see. Is it the lab, it's closed on Saturday. All right. No coffers to speak of. Another widow spider. Why? It's the worst. Satyr butterfly. Not really what we needed. More flies. There's a butterfly of some kind over there.
pretty sure it's just one we've seen before. Ooh, what are you? Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. All right, well, that's not quite what I wanted either. Here's the bamboo forest. The a panda playing on a flute? Panda's in. You don't understand what's being said. Okay, but you're there. Striped garden caterpillar. Oh. That's new. All right. Well, glad I came up here then. In that case, let's swing by the museum. That wasn't a spring exclusive, so I wasn't particularly searching for it, but I'm glad to have found it. There you go. Alright, with that done, let's at least check the traps in the ocean again. Nothing. Let's see. Looking at my list to see what I should go for next. It's sunny. There's some stuff I could catch at the beach or forest ocean. flower basket. The Venus flower basket is kind of a rare one. So maybe I shouldn't be too surprised that I haven't found it yet. pom-pom crab, and it was highlighted again for me, so it, I must never have caught that particular star quality of it before. Inventory full. Well, let's make more fish bait then. Uh, I don't think any of these insects are important for anything we're doing right now. That's the thing with... with... <laughs> It won't let me craft anything because my inventory's full. That's right, the potato. I'm still carrying that. All right, well, get rid of the cricket, then we can make all this fish bait.
have to make sure I replenish my seaweed at least a little bit. So just the same search as before. More seaweed. Another sea slug. Sea slug, that's right, not a sea cucumber. Uh, that looks like an upside down jellyfish. Yes. So a fascinating thing to find, but not really what we wanted. just gonna triple check that yes this is this and you can find the the Venus flower at any time of day the calico lobster is exclusive tonight which is kind of why I like to switch to searching for that one once the Sun goes down Oh, these dehydrators. Just the ridiculous amount of stuff going into them. Uh, let's see. Jellyfish. We'll just turn in the potato tomorrow. It's fine. Sea slugs. The less good violet. Let's just sell off these two, why not? All right, Calico Lobster. Are you somewhere, anywhere down here? That is something. I do not think it is a calico lobster. That is a hermit crab. Which is a fascinating critter. Just not the fascinating critter that we wanted. There's a thing that hermit crabs do. If, if, if a hermit crab has outgrown its shell and it's looking for a new one, sometimes it finds a bigger shell that is too big. But instead of just abandoning it, it'll wait by this larger shell. 
And it'll wait until a medium-sized hermit crab comes along that wants the bigger shell and leaves its medium-sized shell for the little hermit crab to move into. They can actually form some impressively long chains where all it needs is one big enough hermit crab to move into the biggest shell and everyone else upgrades by one slot. Well, that's not to say that they're always polite. I have also read that sometimes hermit crabs will fight over especially desirable shells and even pull one crab out of a shell that another one wants, so they're not always polite. Flower hat jellyfish. sure that I've actually caught anything in those traps that I set up near the teleportation point. I may need to move them to an area more like this where there are some actual spawn points. It's 11, and I don't see anything else here. So we'll go back to the fast travel spot, and that'll be enough searching for today. Yes, I'm headed in the right direction. that, I guess. It's always tricky finding the last few things. I have more stuff than I can even fit in the dehydrators. And violets, sure, we can keep those. Uh, don't need the hermit crabs or the jellyfish. Do we need this wasabi? We could keep the wasabi. That's that for that day. Ooh. Level up in ranching and catching <gasps> flying insect scent. That will be useful. And loads of money, okay. That is ridiculous amounts of money. Taking its time. It's really taking its time. Hmm. 
Yes, um, I'm actually starting to be concerned that maybe it hasn't moved forward properly. This might be a crash. Uh, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this a crash. Which is unfortunate, but I don't think anything really irreplaceable happened that day. Well, it's fine. Give me a sec and I will fix it. Close that window and we shall start again. Wow, that hasn't happened since early access. So really all I need to do is double check my lists and make sure that I haven't, uh, that I didn't turn anything in that I now need to uncount. I guess I could review the footage as well, but I'll have to do that later. Well, it's all right. You know, if, if, if I had actually caught one of those things that I was looking for, then I'd be very sad that we had to play this day over again, but that's all right. We now get another chance. Okay, it's loading, but it's pretty quiet while it's loading. So, Furple, with regard to the fish pond and the bug log, I think it is, are those dependent on seasons at all, or do I just put in whatever I want to put in and it'll just make copies of it? Okay, so I don't need to worry about, uh, about the seasonality of what I put in there. That is good. Uh, I am seeing a loading screen, but I guess, I guess you guys are not. Should just be another second here. Now, I don't know when it calculates what is in the bug traps. Uh... There we go. All right, so it's the 14th again. Is this different at all? Sunny and clear, that's the same forecast as before. <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry, Yormi. All right, so we get to play this day again, but that's okay. Because it looks like there's some stuff I missed anyway. Am I really playing this same day again? Because it would be kind of weird if I completely missed the chard. That is funny. What's in my inventory? Scallop, the potato. I I think time moved for moved forward. Yeah, cuz I didn't I start the tempo? Well, I'm definitely going to start some more honey while we're here because we keep needing honey for things and I never have enough of it.
Yeah, I think we move forward. Let me check the greenhouse, because I know there was nothing in the greenhouse, quote unquote, yesterday. And now there is. So, yeah, it looks like time has in fact advanced. Unless I missed a lot last time. Which seems out of character. Though not impossible. Uh, okay. That's, that's forages. I don't need to look in there. Chard. We've got, we've got chard. We've got We've got radishes already. Uh, we've got even better cherries. I've got this. Yes, mastery. Ranching level eight. Yeah, time has definitely advanced. Okay, chance for animal feed to stay filled, lowers the time to befriend animals, increases the selling price of all animal products. Uh, let's go. These are these are all really good. But let's go with the price increase. It's nice and straightforward. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone of the barn. Apparently I am missing with a lot of my right clicks. I've got this quail egg. Look at all this super good large mayonnaise. Okay, now that we're here, okay, we can craft a flying insect scent out of fiber and any flower. It can be consumed or attached to a trap, and if we attach it to a trap, that will guarantee that it catches something the next day. So first I'm going to make a flying insect trap with the honey that we have. And I want to I wanna have flowers in my inventory before I go using flowers to make anything. Oh, firefly, that's kind of a... A rarer thing, but we already have the ones we need. Uh, but okay, I'm going to just put another flying insect trap over here. Definitely some kind of coconut growing right now. It's just not ready to shake down yet. What's this? We've got a fly. 
And another praying mantis. We've got a pine sphinx. And if I head up towards the woodlands, we might find something else there. Uh, that is some other kind of something. Uh, but while we're here... Since we have money now... I think I planted the mango and the peach. We have an apple sapling, but I'd like to plant an olive sapling. Let's get one of those. And let's go ahead and get the almond one. We'll wait on the orange and the durian. In terms of these... Uh, I do want some of these for the greenhouse. Snake fruit, lychee. Okay. So I want to make sure I have those on hand. Oh, I think we can actually go to the lab today. And deal with these fossils that have been sitting in my inventory for this entire time. Wild seeds? That's not a fossil. And a stegosaurus tail, which we already have. Alright, well... Aha! Daffodil. That was something I wanted. Uh, woodlands are up here. That is a fly. That is not the butterfly I want. That is some kind of beetle. Also not what I needed. So I think that's going to be it for the woodlands. So back to the farm. Let's at least... We might be able to plant some of these seedlings, but mostly I just want to get them out of the way. I guess I could also plant more stuff here, including flowers, since I need them. Uh, yes, those two are here. Um, Alright. I didn't lay these out in quite the best way. Uh, the olive sapling... Should go here. These two are both going to be summer. I guess we can put the winterish and spring ones here. And as for in here, uh, 
Uh, let's just pick one for now. Uh, let's go with banana. Why not? There. That's what I was saving that space for. And you know what? That's worth some fertilizer. In fact, since it's going to be there basically forever, it's worth better fertilizer if I can possibly swing it. Osmium kelp. Yeah, seriously. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> I've got no room for anything, so I'm going to put the rest of these seedlings in the seed box. What's this? Sprinkler one. That's not enough to plant more of those. Uh, okay. And let's let's get Paul his potato. Let's find out where Paul is. Let's empty this out and then we can deal with Paul and his potato. up in the woodlands area, but you're not there at the moment. Ah, here at the beach. Paul is busy, you can't talk right now, but will you accept a quest item? No, I'm gonna have to wait for him to be done. All right. Well, there might be some things I can catch in the sea at this point. So we'll try this. Blue Tang, you guys are still playing. Another Barracuda. It's always the barracudas. All right, where is everybody going? Paul's gone up north. Let's catch up with him. Hey, it's the giants. Uh, potato? There we go. Uh. Well, there's a cutscene. Vanya, great to see you. What do you want to drink? Ooh, coffee, hot chocolate, or tea? It's either hot chocolate or tea. I'm in a tea mood. One tea coming right up. Don't worry about it. It's on the house today. 
Thank you, that's so nice. You're very welcome. I need to let my regular customers know I appreciate them, right? I haven't exactly been a regular customer, but sure. <laughs> to tell you the truth, the business is a little slow. I'm sort of worried. Sometimes I feel like I'm in way over my head here. Doing a great job with the coffee stand. Or I know what you mean. I'm oh, doing a great job. Well, thanks. That makes me feel good. But if you saw my bank account, you might not say that. <laughs> oh dear. Just between us, I'm making enough money to stay in business, but just barely. How will I ever expand and be successful if I'm barely covering my expenses? Well, at least you don't have a big coffee chain moving in right next door or something. I mean, there's puffer fish, but they don't sell coffee. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming to Rata's. That's a nice bit of animation there. Mayor Connor invited me to join the Starlet Town Chamber of Commerce. You think I should join? Oh, definitely. That's a great idea! The Chamber of Commerce can be a great resource for small businesses. I figure if I join, I can ask her for advice. Raja's is going to grow, I need to start taking this stuff more seriously. I'll join the Chamber of Commerce. Here, let me get you some refill before you go. <laughs> but, um, in the interest of taking my business more seriously, I think I need to charge you for this one. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure I'm pulling many times that out of the ocean every day. Here, have a potato. Thank you. All right. Uh, ship town rank. Yeah, we're still working on that. Yeah, we went down there mostly just to find him. We could go diving again. A farm to table power couple would be pretty awesome. Yeah, that that would be that would be a fun angle. I honestly have not given any thought really to to who I will romance in this playthrough. Yeah, these aren't catching anything. Let's pick them up and move them a bit. At least get them into maybe this sandy place where we see some things appearing. There we go. We'll have to go just a little farther afield to check for anything, but that's all right. Okay. 
I think that's another whelk. Yeah. And that would be a seahorse. again. Yeah, I did some catching earlier. And I'm just not finding what I need to. Don't leave me. <laughs> it's okay, bot. Suppose I go east. Another seahorse. And we'll come up this way again. Lobster. We can take this long way, but not too long of a long way. It is getting pretty late. It's a hermit crab. And that would be. Another hermit crab. Don't need to care too much about that. Still not seeing any lobsters. It is a fairly rare thing. All right, I didn't even unload all this from last time. There we go. Uh, shiitake mushroom. Yes, you can have that. And you will actually clear out the plain ones. Oh no, I want to I want to make fish bait out of the bugs. And we've got a couple of flowers we can make scent out of, which I would rather like to do. Flying insect scent. Okay, so that's all the flowers we have on us. Uh, 
And let's take just a little time Oh, to catch this, whatever it is. Skyrite's beetle. Use flying insect scent on insect trap. Yes. Yes again. Let's see if that helps us. But tomorrow is the 15th, and that means there are some things I want to go fishing for. Especially if it's sunny, which I think it will be. Yes. Alright, we completed an errand, got some points for that. Our relationship with Paul is better, and we got loads of money. Wow, the radishes were lucrative. This is a tropical island. It, it would be a good place for growing coffee beans. All right, weather forecast, windy tomorrow. Okay, that actually does matter. It does. It's not just sunny with flavor. It does make some difference in terms of insects. So that can be relevant. There's our sugar cane. Here's carrots, a bunch of flowers. I need to replant all this stuff. Snake fruit, bananas, plums, rambutans, lychee, avocado, and strawberries. Because why not? All right. Kellets, kellets, kellets. We have one especially good carrot. We'll save that. Actually, let's not save all the different variants of cranberry. Uh, poppies are flowers, we'll save those elsewhere. Roots in here. We've got avocados, we've got lychees, we've got better rambutans than that, we've got better plums than that, and bananas. And all that stuff. How about strawberries? I'm gonna need another chest for crops anyway, because as soon as we hit summer, there's gonna be too many for me to deal with. So let's save the really good poppies, but let's let's plan on actually let's just stash all these away. We'll plan on using them for things like insect baits. Nothing says we have to, to totally rely on foraging. That's going to be ridiculous amounts of profit. Uh, how long does the carrot take to grow? Seven days. Did I accidentally put seeds in here? No, I didn't. 
but we'll just put all that in the chaos plot. Pick these up. Uh, syrup. Yeah, I still have the syrup in there. Have to remember to pick up the resin from this side. What's going on in the greenhouse? <laughs> oh yeah, well there, there's there's a whole there's a whole story about uh, about uh, about our pet here. Oh look at this! It's a truffle. It's a white truffle. Look at that. Our pig has found a white truffle. A fist-sized knob of a precious fungus prized for its enticing aroma and earthy flavor. Gold quality. All right, well, let's keep this in here for now. So if, that is, of course, a cat with a dragon costume. And there's a, a, there's a myth in which Thor is challenged by a giant to pick up the giant's pet cat. The cat, of course, being Jormungandr in disguise. Which is why Thor can only get one paw off the floor, and it still freaks out the giant. So... There's a... There's a couple layers to that name. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the truffle, Miss Piggy. So one of the newer Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, uh, Lechonk, that basically just looks like a pig. The female one has such strong Miss Piggy vibes. Still processing goat cheese wheel. Oh, I, I used the front one. I used the back one instead of the front one. There we go. It's a large egg, so I can't fit two in there because it makes two mayonnaises. There we go. Wow, I'm starting to have a net plus of stuff. Alright, so it's the 15th and that means I can start searching for one of these fish, well a couple fish, that can only be found during the last half of spring and summer. So at night time we should search for a yellow moray eel, but for right now, in the afternoon and evening, we can search for a giant stingray. And I'm not sure why that's classified as a thing you can find in the forest river. That makes no sense to me, but oh well. It's not quite afternoon yet either, so let's go for our bug catching rounds. And in fact, Okay, I think I would just use this. Why would that be something that I am eating? I do not know. I don't know if I want to know. We got an Assam Silk Moth. But the idea is that because I'm wearing this scent, I should find more insects spawned around.
I'm still not finding what I want, it seems. Got another crawler trap over there. Nothing. And all these coconuts, too. But let's get ourselves up to the forest river actually let's offload some things then we can go to the forest river Slimes. Hello, slimes. Step back. Hey, don't mention it. You were in trouble and I happened to be passing by. You okay? Thank you. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm glad I've come to help you just in time. Good. Well, I have to be somewhere. Just eat some food and you'll be as good as new. You don't seem to be badly injured. That's right, I haven't been carrying around my sword at all since I haven't been mining. Alright, well, let's see what we can find. I've got loads of bait. This will do into the evening, and then we'll want to switch to the beach. Zebrafish. We've got one of those already. Feisty, whatever it is. A giant stingray! A legendary freshwater fish. It's massive, but it has no bones. The whole body is supported by flexible cartilage. All right, and... Uh, the goddess doesn't need it. So that's it. Wow, that was fast. Let's, um, let's take a slightly long way back. We haven't picked up any hardwood in a while. <laughs> yes, stingray, stingray. Da 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 da. da. Oh man. I I have to admit that was constantly getting stuck in my head as I was making the spreadsheet just cuz I kept reading the word stingray over and over.
That's right, I used to have bug traps here, but I don't anymore. That's all right. All right, I might have missed some of the wood, but that's fine. Oh, you were thinking of Moana's grandmother. Yeah, that, that too. But those were definitely ocean rays. All right, have a stingray. And I will check this off, at least on paper. So that's one less thing to worry about. And this will be a convenient way to get back to the beach. If we get ourselves into a really good position with fishing and there's still a good chunk of spring left, then it might be a good time to upgrade the fishing pole that one last time. Uh, which level is it at? It's at gold, so we just have one more upgrade left. And with the amount of money that we have, I'm not too worried about being able to afford it. It's just needing to have a, a, a time that works out well when I don't actually need the pole to catch things with. The change between gold and osmium is less than you thought it would be. Yeah, it... it. I, I looked at the various catch rates of different rarities on the wiki and it's like, yeah, it's, it's not actually a gigantic increase, but it's something. It's certainly something I'd want to get done before fall. Because, like, okay, here's a fish that you've only got one week you can catch it in. Have fun. This is not something too difficult. Another blue tang.
another ruby red dragonet. We are using fiber for some things, but we still have loads of it. And since we have all these bugs, none of which I actually need for anything, we can just make more bait. Since we're actually going through that now, too. Yeah, that's that's the most frustrating thing with these checklists, when there's just that one thing left and you've got several seasons before it'll come around again. In Stardew Valley, I always feel like the octopus is the hardest thing to catch. Not just because it's so difficult, but because you can only catch it in the morning. Which means I need to really deviate from my usual schedule in order to find it. Alright, we'll give it one more cast. That's a lobster, but it's not the same kind of lobster I was looking for earlier. There's an octopus. This would be a cricket. And another cricket. And a beetle. And let's swing by these traps because Ah, these are still lit up. So they've still got their scent on. Okay, let's just double check. None of these fish are important anymore. So there's no reason we can't just chuck them in the bin. Okay. Alright, still making gobs of money. And I'm gonna go over to my checklist and make sure I have things marked in. Because we have caught the giant stingray. And that striped garden caterpillar. Okay. Okay, weather forecast? Sunny. I'm really hoping for rain, because that would actually change what things we have the opportunity to catch. But nothing yet. Alright. Picture of a farm in the Discord. Very nice. It'll be cool to see what decor you're getting up to. Uh, okay, we've got this, 
We've got that's still maturing. We've got all these peas. I'm going to leave that strawberry just so it'll mature at the same time as everything else. Because I'm silly like that. Got all these cucumbers. Okay, uh, peas, we can... Where are peas? Ah, there are peas. Well, let's save those peas and these cucumbers. And this morel. And the coconuts. And the wasabi. Okay. Uh, we still want to keep our bugs for bait and our flowers. That stuff is growing. Here's our pumpkins. Uh, can I make pickles with the cucumbers? I should be able to, yes. In fact, that's probably worth doing rather than just selling them. Uh, because our tempeh should be finished by now. Don't eat it. So we'll sell those cucumbers. Tempeh, made out of fermented soybeans, rich in protein, silver quality. All right, I'm gonna stick that in there for now. Uh, wood goes in there. Uh, all these pumpkins can get sold. That's going to be loads of money. Ooh! A feather! Gorgeous little feather. Gold quality. Nice. We'll save you. Good morning, everyone. And since we only got one egg today, we can process one of the ones from before. Good morning, all of you. All right, the milk pail, the shears, that's kind of all we need right now. All right, let's check for insects again. In fact, let's some more scent. 
and apply that to ourselves first. might have been what I was after. Right, fine. Swallowtail butter... Spice bush swallowtail butterfly. There we go. So I missed that one, but we caught one in the trap. Excellent. That's what I was looking for all this time. The museum wants it. The goddess doesn't. So we are set for that one. Which means I might want to move my traps around if I have different priorities for what I want to catch. There's a butterfly. Okay. Okay. Every, every other bug that I can catch in spring, I can also catch in summer. Uh, we still need, we possibly, we would like to catch one more yucca moth, but we could do without it if we had to. Uh, a luna moth is the only other one we can catch on a sunny or windy day. So yes, let's, let's check a bunch of places. forest. Okay, yes. So I want to go back and collect my traps from the garden lane and I want to move them to other places. Let's go to the beach. Polyphemus moth, a moth with a pair of eyes on its back. Snail, that's not terribly exciting. Here's a flying insect trap. Let's put another one. We've already got one on the beach, so let's actually put this one in town. Uh, we seem to come up this way a lot. near the hot spring. Let's try leaving this here. prepared to go catch that to try to catch that eel again as it starts to get a little later Uh, 
are we going? We can go this way. Can't try for the eel till night time, so we have a little time to search around until then. More flowers, that's useful. Can't do anything with this recycling center yet. But you only ever find flies there. Offer that needs breaking. Ooh. <laughs> it's a lot of neon on the wall there. Hey, want to play some pool? I'm heading to the tavern. Oh, the TV show is about to start. Hmm. Eh, it's okay. I'll miss one episode. Let's go. Hi, guys. Hey, Vanya. We were just about to leave to fish and sips. Come join us. Will this actually move me over there? <laughs> I like the notes there. Hey, nice to see you, bro. That is definitely a pool table. That's one sick shot. I was surprised myself. Let's see what you got, Yuri. Oh, now you're making me nervous. So that's how I finally get you nervous, eh? Your pool ability. Let's shoot some. Relive Pablo Reyes. Whoa, the grand alias is mentioned. Show him, Pablo. Yo, not in front of my brother. I don't want him to say thanks to my folks, yo. Massive eye roll. Say what? I can't say anything even if I wanted to. I don't know what you... Relive Pablo Reyes! Fine, fine. Wow, I've scripted out this whole thing. Ooh, nice. Yes! Pablo Reyes is back! Three rounds of Frank's special drink for everyone! Ha ha ha! Ha ha, no thanks.
Ayo, I heard that. Looks like the pool game between me and Pablo is off. I think I'll go home. I hope the TV show is still on. Get ready there, sis! Sending over some free beer to the winner! Challenge accepted! Right on! Hmm... Kinda letting the introvert slip through the cracks, it looks like. Bronze kelp. Well, that's not terrible. Well, I'm... It's kind of a related, relatable situation. Okay, still afternoon. Uh, let's see. It's not raining. Yeah, it's worth going to the beach already. There's a there's one more thing we need from there that's accessible before nighttime. Actually, before we do that, because we went to all the trouble to move those crawling traps around, I'm going to just check those. Nothing. Can I put bait in those? No. All right. There are separate scents for things that crawl anyway, so that's that. That's still lit up. Our praying mantis. And let's once again double check. None of these insects are important. Yeah, we're fine. I see you lit up. Why are... Fine. Alright, well now it's definitely nighttime, so let's see what we can get. Something that's tricky, but not too tricky. 
octopus. Another blue tang. We do still need fishing skill ups, so I don't want to let anything go, even if I know it's something we've done. Another ruby red dragonet. two blue tangs and they're not the same quality. Interesting. I suppose there's a small chance that I could catch a treasure, and I don't know what kind of resistance those offer. Whatever this is, it's thrashing. A yellow moray eel! All right. But we need two of them. So this might be an occasion for a fish tank, or a fish pond, I should say. Because if we can't catch a second one, it's a purple star one also. Would its purple star status be preserved if we duplicated it? Or would we get yellow moray eels of random quality. That's something I'm willing for people to tell me if they know. Oh, jellyfish! Remember when we were looking for those like crazy? I think that's enough for tonight, and I think that is reason enough to start a fish pond. So let's save this eel here. We can sell off these other fish, and then we won't have to worry about catching a second eel. We'll just make more in the fish pond. Coconuts. Let's plant another couple of chaos seeds.
Okay, and then in the morning we can investigate ways of duplicating our catchables. Our relationship with Ali is better. We've got tons of money, a lot of it from those pumpkins. Please don't crash. There we go. Okay, weather forecast. Rainy tomorrow. Okay, that definitely gives us opportunities to catch different things. So for today, if the carpenter shop is open, we should definitely start on one of those buildings. And soybeans. Uh, got loads of sugar cane. Hmm. Don't have any super fancy soybeans. That's fine. All right, animals. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, all of you. Everyone, come on outside. away. Uh, do I have purple star mayonnaise stored over here? No, not yet. Let's save a bit of that. And what's going on in the greenhouse? Oh, tea leaves. Those have been there for a while. Okay, that could be pure chaos for a bit. That's fine. saving a lot of my tea leaves though just because I don't have a really good consistent source of them yet. We may have unlocked them through town rankings at this point. Okay, but let's gather up some of the things we may need. And Carpenter, yes, is open today. Let's make sure we can catch insects really well while we're out here. Because you never know what we might find. Ooh, planing a board. Hey, Mom. Archie, so nice to see you, dear. What can I pay attention? 
Pay attention to what you're doing. Planes are serious business. So, do we have any extra newspapers lying around? That's actually a really nice plane model. I really like it. Did you take a sudden interest in the news? Sure, I guess. No, he's totally gonna make paper mache or something. I think sawdust might work too. Oh, you need this for an animal to go to the bathroom on. Can I take some? What's going on, Archie? Nothing. I just... <laughs> you know what? Forget it. You can talk to me, Archie, if there's something going on. Since when do you not talk to me? Well, since he's just growing up, that's all. It's nothing, Mom. Is this... Is this about a girl? What? No, ew! <laughs> Mom, why would you say that? I don't know. You've been so secretive lately. All this time alone, scurrying around the house, doing who knows what? I just thought... Ew! Okay, okay. A couple years too early for that one. But it's something, Archie. I don't know. You can tell me. Okay. One minute. What is this? Chirp, chirp. Is that... is that a bird? A white-breasted wood wren. I found him lying in the woods a couple days ago, Mom. I think his wing is broken. This is what you've been... I couldn't just leave him there, Mom. I couldn't. He would have died. And I know you and Dad don't like animals, so I didn't want to... Hey, who said we don't like animals? Dad says it, like, all the time. I guess... I mean, we're not animal lovers per se, kiddo, but an injured bird is something else altogether. You want to nurse him back to health? I'll help. You, you will? Of course I will, sweetie. This is a wonderful thing you're doing. I want to contact the actual animal experts on the island, but eh. you don't have to hide it from us. Oh, okay. That would be great. Thanks, Mom. You hear that, Mr. Beaks? Mom's gonna help. Of course I will. Let's start right now. I think I have a few empty shoe boxes in the house. That will make for a great nest for Mr. Beaks, don't you think? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Mr. Beaks, I love it. That's a pretty awesome name. Alright, let's see. Fish pond. We need scrap. We need more stone than we have. We need seaweed and gold kelp essence. And the insect house. Actually, somewhat easier requirements. So we might want to start that one first. And none of these are, neither of these is prohibitively expensive at this point. We do want to be a little careful with our spending money as the season change gets closer, but I'm going to write this down. Pond needs 20 scrap, 50 stone, 
20 seaweed. Lucky we've been gathering that, huh? One gold oh. essence. And the insect house is one compost. 15 hardwood. 10 sap, 1 gold bar. So I'm kind of more excited about the fish pond, but the insect house is probably easier for us to start on right away. So let's go back and gather what we need. Wish I could use this. But we're not quite there yet. Oh, we don't quite have enough compost. All right. Well, that's easily remedied. Start that. Compost. We have the hardwood. We need slightly more sap. And gold bars are in this chest. We'll sort it. And we are going to need gold kelp essence. So let's start some of that too. We've got so much extra kelp at this point that I, th I think it's fine for us to just make a whole batch. Actual wood. All right. Well, let's get ourselves some sap then. That should be fairly easy. And the compost will take a little bit of time. out these rocks. That's right, we're gonna need some space to actually put this thing. Maybe let's... maybe let's put it down here. It's a little bit distant from everything else, but it'll work. We can always move things later if we really need to. Okay, compost, hardwood, sap, gold bar. Great. Okay, and let's build this insect house. We'll just kind of stick it down here for now. It's a little distant, but it'll do. Okay. Now with that done, I would like to check the traps. But clearly we're going to need some more stone. 
Oh, hey, yucca moth. And that's the thing that I would have put in the insect house. All right, well, that's fine. Another yucca moth. Wow, my my plans have worked even better than expected. Three of them. All right. Well, that's that's uh, well done then. Uh, we still need a luna moth, so it's still worth keeping these traps up. Uh, not on the beach though. We should move the we should move the flying one to the town. Okay. Hi, Purple. <laughs> Your Discord app lives. Excellent. Um, I, I am not checking Discord while I'm streaming, but I will definitely look later. Uh, let's see. Town, town, town. Let's go ahead and put it near the museum, since I'm always going to the museum. Oh, your Twitch app lives. Well, that's another good thing to live. Though, if you're having trouble with Twitch constantly booting you off of chat for no reason, then I fully sympathize, because that happens to me too. Oh, totally understandable that we'd be calling things by all the wrong names. I mean, all the interfaces come to look like each other, if you give them time. Alright, there's a Yucca Moth for the museum, and we can hand it into the goddess as well. Last one that we need for this. Look at that. We unlocked a bee house. Nice. Well, thank you. How are we doing? Well, heritage is crawling upwards. All right. Well, let's check our traps again. You went on and off like four different internets? You've got a lot of wireless networks in your area. Let's see if there's anything... Still nothing. I must be doing something wrong. I don't want to spend too much time looking here. Clearly the traps are not really helping. At least get credit for catching those things, even if we don't need to keep them. Uh, 
let's take a long way around. have any room for seaweed. I'm carrying all kinds of random things right now. Don't need a puss moth. Oh, I just picked up the seaweed. Seeking Calico Lobster. Uh, what are you? I think you're a mantis shrimp. Yes. Which is rare, but not quite what we needed. I think 18 is actually when the, when the clock ticks over. I'll make another lap around here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Another slight long way in case in case it would help. That's just another whelk. Don't need that. Okay. Have I ever seen a wiener dog Tokyo Drift? I have not. Uh, let's see. All those things. Why am I carrying all, all these building materials? Still carrying, I should say. Now that that's done, let's just give a little more time. And that might be an actual widow spider. Uh, hang on.
I've gone and clicked something I shouldn't. You're taking care of a wiener dog obsessed with laser pointers. Oh, man. Because if we do manage to catch another eel, then we can go ahead and turn things in right away. Although a yellow mori eel being legendary would be a good fit to multiply in the pond anyway. So it might be worth saving for when we don't necessarily need it for specific fish anymore. feisty thing. Octopus. More lobsters. Certainly, we want to start uh, gathering up some stone for our fish pond. And we also want to not burn all of our seaweed on fish bait anymore for a while. And we've got those flowers. Uh, let's put this bee house next to the other one. Oh, relationship with Archie and with our pet has improved. A little bit of money coming in. And it's rainy today. And tomorrow, windy. Now this means there are things we can find today that we would not necessarily be able to find at other times. Some of which we need to get out there and find in the morning. So, despite doing that right off the bat, I need to check my list. So, in terms of bugs, we can find a magnolia green jumper in a couple of places. And a snakehead is one thing I really want to go for in the morning. Both of those things we can find at the lake. And the snakehead can be found in the morning. Well, the television's useful, but it its usefulness kind of diminishes after the first year. All the little flavor shows only have one episode each, and the farm tips only run for one year.
It's useful to see which cooking gadgets are on sale. A snake head! That's exactly what I wanted. And we only need one for the museum. Excellent. And that's the only one I really need to search for in the morning. So let's walk around a bit looking for potential bug finds. Yeah, I might not have gone for the appliances right away, except that I had all that new game plus money. And that was allegedly a stairway, but I guess they won't let me in. that I couldn't have found some other way. So let's turn this in at the museum. some other stuff we'll want to look for. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ives Miam Net turns out to be the better deal. It'll just work out to what what works better with the timing. Right now, now that the stuff that has to be done in the morning is done. I want to do the farm chores. And that's going to include selling off bugs for now because I need to save up seaweed for other purposes. You can go in there. We're going to need more compost. So it's worth running that. Oop. That's wrong. It's got uh, the rainy surface dirt in the greenhouse, even though rain doesn't come in here. They didn't change that texture, even though the glass is covering it. A truffle. A black truffle. The goddess wants one. Very nice. We'll get to that in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Mm 
none of you will want to come outside today. And... Good morning to all of you. Okay, so cheese, mayo, some large cloth. And somehow this sea salt is not finding its way in there. And put all these flowers away. We can sort them out later. Let's get the goddess her black truffle. Rare ranching products. Okay, so we've gotten regular feathers, but not large feathers. There's a black truffle. And now, let's see what I want to look for. My pencils are falling off the desk. Okay, let's try the giant village forest. And the forest ocean. And I need to double check where that is. It's distinct from the town dock. That would be like up here. So let's start with the giant's village and look around. That might have been what we needed. Uh, let's see. It rains more often in summer. So I'm not too worried about that. I mean, for a, the devs have been so vocal about when things are going to be added. And I don't think it's unusual at this point for a game to put a lot of its features into, like, post-release releases. DLCs and whatnot. 
So, uh, it, it's really, people are being pretty bratty if they're calling this unfinished. I guess the only, the only reason you could call it unfinished is just the fact that the gaps where intended content is going to go are so obvious, whereas some games don't necessarily do that. Like Stardew Valley, for example, a lot of the, oh, hello, lionfish. A lot of the extra stuff that was added to Stardew Valley is stuff that you never would have guessed would have been in there. So there wasn't some, like, obvious negative space where it would have gone. That makes the game seem unfinished until it is there. I know some people are disappointed about the Switch releases taking longer, which is understandable. Another sea cucumber. Look at my list again. What I'm looking for is a polka dot bat fish, which is not especially rare. I mean, you also have stuff like uh, Surviving Mars is one of my favorite games. But when Surviving Mars first released, it didn't have anything like a tutorial in it. Which meant that for someone playing for the first time, it would have looked really opaque. I had some help because I watched someone stream it before, well, not stream, but, but on, on YouTube. They put a Let's Play on YouTube before the official release, and so I could kind of see how things are supposed to go, but they didn't have tutorial stuff until a couple updates in. Uh, right now I'm gonna switch to some freshwater areas. The Forest River will do, so let's head up this way. Yeah, no, it's 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 ridiculous to hold an indie studio to the same standards as a AAA studio. Oh, well, look at this. This is a nice walkway. Fish. That's what I wanted. Uh, but we need two of them. Okay. There were some people who were, I, or at least I saw one article saying that surviving Mars didn't feel complete until it had terraforming in there. If for no other reason than just because terraforming is such a huge part of Mars science fiction.
Well, Stardew Valley was one guy, yes. And also, I think, did a very good job of, for the most part, not having those empty spaces where it looks incomplete. With basically the sole exception of multiplayer. That took a long time to implement. All right, I have a catfish. And the museum needs one too. Have another catfish. Okay, let's see where we are. I need to retrieve my pencil. Okay, we could still try and find another more eel. Yellow moray eel, that is. There's a, a normal moray eel and the yellow one. I also want to go back to the Temple Lake and look around for one of those bugs again. Wow, with the lag, that was an impressive catch. Nothing I actually need, though. Horned Devil. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those. We do tend to have more rainy days during summer, though. So I'm not too worried about Missing a few other things. Because everything that we need to catch during spring has already been caught. Anything that's got no other options for seasons whatsoever. Don't need any of these fish, and I'm gonna sell off the bugs too, because we need all that seaweed for our fish pond. Uh, okay. Mang 
Augustines. I'm not sure. Yes, I've got gold ones of those. Purple cocoa beans. I still want to save the flowers, because I still want more bug bait. Shiitake mushrooms, we have better than that. All right, well, that's, uh, I think we can put these in the chaos plot and that's it for that rainy day. Okay, got a fishing skill point. That's definitely helpful. Okay, we can definitely get another day in. Sunny today. Hi, Ormy. <laughs> All our fruit trees at once. Strawberries. Oh, we've got the pickles are in there. Yeah, the the I it's a mystery why my pet still says they're feeling fine, but clearly not quite. Just, just don't get it. Uh, banana, plum, rambutan, uchi, avocado. Strawberry, sell the others. Uh, no, yes, we we did need to give the goddess some kind of pickled thing, but we've already done that. Yeah, it might just be being a cat. Who knows? Uh, okay, got that. Alright, all the animals can come out for a regular day. Now, it's interesting that the peafowl leave their feathers outside the coop rather than inside like the eggs. Oh, 
I'll have to see if anyone's mentioned it. Good morning, everybody. Come on out. Might, someone might have mentioned on the someone on the Coral Island Discord might have mentioned the disconnect between the game saying that your pet feels happy when they're not showing a happy emote. Okay, there's an insect house. So the next time I catch something really impressive, I'll stick one in there. Uh, in the meantime, we need materials for our uh, for our fish pond, which ironically, not so ironically, I guess, means going diving again. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go check on insect traps again. I think I still have a crawler trap here, even though I didn't really need one. It's a quick way to the beach, if nothing else. Since that's where I actually need to be right now. Uh, no, actually, not on the beach. Yeah, the traps have turned out to actually be really nice. Just to completely bypass the whole catching skill. What's that? Another yucca moth. Interesting. Well, let's make some more scent. What's on the board? Jim is looking for one carrot. All right. governs those getting put on the board. They're certainly not as frequent as Stardew Valley ones. Polyphemus moth. Bye, moth. For that spice vine swallowtail, that was one where I missed catching one the normal way, but then thankfully there was a trap that had caught it just right next to me even, so yeah, it's sometimes you get really lucky with them. The tarantula, that was something I caught in a trap, and that's supposed to be legendary. And we need seaweed in earnest now. Still looking for that Venus flower thing. But we also need to give proper attention to the seaweed.
We almost have enough. Our rescued friends are actually pretty mobile at this point. Lobster. We have enough seaweed at this point, but I still want to get more for fish bait. And since we're already here, we might as well keep up our search for the things we want. It's a dolphin! these coffers and I have no place to put them. It is possible that what I'm looking for may be much rarer in one season than in another one. It's offload stuff. Yeah, more farm geography would be nice. Or more farm geography choices. Or even the ability to edit that after the game has started. Let's try for the lobster first, because we do have one yellow moray eel. We can copy it if we need to.
It's a whelk over there. And a seahorse. Behind that it was just a, a decoration sea star. Yeah, the, the giants seem like a good candidate for being able to terraform the farm. things about Stardew certainly that could either be fun or annoying depending on how you see it is that uh, Concerned Ape seems to go out of his way sometimes to make it so that things don't line up quite perfectly. Like the fact that the greenhouse isn't the size that would be perfectly covered by the best sprinklers. is just a little bit of of uh, irregularity. Yeah, it, it looks natural. And it means that people have different ways of dealing with that in their layouts, even when they're trying to make the layouts very uh, regular. You can't make it perfectly regular, so what else do you do? Yeah, this may be something where it's possible the chance just might be higher in a different season, even if it's listed as being possible in spring. It's getting late. I need to go back to the... Ooh, I need to go all the way back around to the teleport point. And through here. This whole place is just so choked with trash again. Almost back. But yeah, it's always so funny when you see someone post a picture of their farm and they've got it, like, perfectly English-style garden laid out. Total geometric perfection, except that they've had to do some funky thing to deal with the, the lake in the middle. The urchin, I think we can do something with that. All right, we can sort the rest out later.
Wait, what? So <laughs> it's don't I don't mean for things to be stressful. But okay, that is that is pretty much it for today, it looks like. There's kind of a lot of chasing things down. Let's double check the calendar, because we should have yes. The tree planting festival is coming up, and I've been wanting to see what the second year of that looks like. So we're just about at the end of the streaming session, so let's come out and take a look at everything. Really should put something short term in those center spaces. But we've got our our bug house over here. I would love a fish pond. I just wanna I just need to get enough stone and such to get it set up. But yeah, things are, are looking pretty good. Certainly checking things off. And just to double check, yep, that's our yellow moray eel safe in there. So we'll, uh, we won't bother about catching another one of them. We'll just make copies. Oh, you called, <laughs> I called you out for how you've set up your farm. Well, that's, that's, However you want to set it up is totally fine. So I'm going to take us to the stream over screen. And let's see who's around to raid. Uh, let's see. Let's find someone else who's playing Coral Island. The Opal Octopus has a cool name. I don't know anything else about them, but we can go over and say hi. So, have a fantastic week, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And next week, the tree planting festival will be one of the early things we do. And that'll be really cool because that'll be the second year of it. So, we will see progress. So, I'll see you later. And thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful week.